Hi, this is Sharon at fitandfun.com. I guess I'll talk about my Behance portfolio I haven't done for a while. Um, the reason I'm looking at it and wanted to take a picture is because the project views are 1959, the year I was born. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> 1900 people have viewed projects, or like they could be a lot of similar people, but my projects have been viewed 1959 times today. October 30th, 2013. And I'm very happy. And over here is the page, like the well, opening page. And so I guess I'll talk about my top six projects. My two, the first two are the Coronado Farmer's Market, which has 45 views, and my view from the Coronado's Farmer Market, which has 67. And um, <clears throat> those are very important to me. They're under my commercial freelance that farmer's market has meant a lot to me over the years of living here and I'm trying to promote it just on my own just to be nice because I want them to succeed and they lost somebody recently who can't make it because we don't support them financially enough for them it to be worth their trip which that made me really sad and um, so here I am and the reason that the view has more links is because my original post put it first whenever I blasted it to the world and boy did that take and so that means 67 people saw the view and never saw the farmer's market, which was my point. So I'm going to improve on that. And um, by the time next Tuesday rolls around, which is the next farmer's market, I plan to have my food photos up, which is just another close-ups of the food and more discussion, m more pictures like that first one you see where it shows the food. I have That's like the only one out of both projects that shows the food, I think, <laughs> currently. So that makes sense, right? Let's show the farmer's market with no food. But that's how I am. And my feeling is just get something up there and start. And look, I already have more than 100 people, 100 times it's been looked at, so I'm proud. And the view is mostly all vessel traffic. There's some other traffic and other pictures, but it's about 90% vessel traffic on the bay. That particular picture is a U.S. Marine Corps boat that I love. I just love it and um, the boat itself is what I love. My picture makes me a little bit sad, but at least I caught it. And, um, and that's what I try to do when I'm, on, when I'm on the water. Like, you think I'm bad now. <laughs> when I'm standing by the water, it, you can't talk to me because I'm busy looking at what I'm looking at. And then the next two, the dark one, house trip part two, and the first one, house trip, I don't even know what I'm thinking there. I, I'm embarrassed and ashamed that they're even on the internet, and I'm not kidding. What happened is, I went, this is a neighbor's house, and I see it all the time, and I have so many better pictures of it. I can't even tell you how many better pictures I have of this house from all different angles, because it's beautiful. And you can kind of tell in the uh, picture that's on the bottom left that it is just gorgeous. It looks like a little fairy tale house and that's why it attracts my eye because they have it really pretty in there and there's always nice flowers and and that night I was driving by it's about 11 o'clock at night driving by on my bike just being and I, I was actually chasing the moon because the moon was showing on their street and I was getting to myself a good position where I could take pictures of the moon and <clears throat> and it happened to be across their street and then I looked over there and that light was just doing crazy stuff and <laughs> I caught it. I caught it in my camera and I can see it and I have the worst pictures of it that you probably have. If you look at it, you're going to be like, what is she even talking about? But to me, it was a magical night. I'm glad I have it and I haven't been able to look at it since the first night I posted it because I'm, I, the quality and the fact that I did it, I think the second time I looked at it, I was just like, are you kidding me? So right now it's just there as a knot in my stomach telling me I need to do more of my night light shots because that's really what it's telling me. I already know this and I wanted to put night shots and what happened is I took these pictures, I knew I caught it, I ran home, I put them on the computer and I uploaded them and that all was done right away and I was just possessed. I was like, oh my god, this is perfect and then when I looked at it the next time I was just like, oh, this is not perfect. But what you can see on the top right photo is the thing that just blew my mind at the end and why we have two two things here is because as you see the light in the bottom uh, left it's one glow but you get to that 
picture you see there and it looks like that one light is not even on like I don't even understand what is happening in that light but I'm so happy I caught it whatever it is and I'm thrilled because that's what I photograph read my art posts I photograph lights colors and shapes because that's really all I see when I'm out in the world I'm out I'm terrified most of the time <laughs> and um, and that's what I see and that's what I catch and the reason I did that I will give full credit to my um, fitness trainer because um, I'll probably get nervous talking about it but when he he was telling me when I got near my weight loss goal like about four months out and I was around under 200 pounds for the first time in 25 years and you know he was always thin and you know fit and I don't think I know a hundred percent he was not ready for my reaction because I would just turned into like a confident fat lady turned into a skinny terrified uh, crying person <laughs> and so he had to deal with that and one of the biggest things that was a problem is I couldn't go outside like I was scared people would talk to me about how good I looked and stuff and I would just die like it was horrible horrible scary and so he kept saying like you need to come up with something what's going to get you out of the house when I'm not here because when he was here I could go for a walk like uh, he was there so he was like my he's tall you know and that's my thing like if the tall guy's walking next to me, I don't feel uncomfortable. I'm comfortable. I know he's going to... When the monster comes, it's his job, not mine. So I'm good. <laughs> but, so he would come and I'd be like, yep, let's go for a walk. Everything's good. And then he, you know, wasn't here every day. So he's like, well, you're walking without me. Oh, no, only at midnight. Only when no one sees me. Like, I can't go out and talk to people. And so he recognized that as a problem and told me to pick something to do. And um, I was afraid to tell him, like, you know, we were at least uh, eight or nine months into talking to each other at this time and working closely together. And I was afraid to tell him that all I could see when I went out was shapes, colors, and light. Like, I didn't even want to admit it to him at, or anyone. Like, I've hi hidden that my whole life. Like, I know you guys see stuff, but I see something completely different when I'm out. And I know it. I've known it a long time. And um, so I finally admitted to him, I said, I would like to take photos. I know I could do it, but the only thing that I see are shapes and lights and colors. And I just don't know, like, what about that? And I was, like, so turmoiled to even say that sentence to him. And he, you know, we were walking, our exercise walk, and he just went, oh, well, just photograph that. That sounds great. Like, you should do that. Like, he didn't even... Uh, acknowledge my fear you know he was just like that sounds great yeah do that <laughs> and it was the most relieving thing like you could probably hear it in my voice because I was just like really like he doesn't even think that's weird like I'm sitting here hiding it and not doing it because I'm afraid people will laugh at me and he's just like well yeah do that like no big deal okay do that tell me you did it on the next day <laughs> And we didn't get there. I didn't. The day I went out is um, on December 23rd, 2011, and it was scary, very scary. And I was, I'd been at my weight for three months, and the pictures that I took in that le next week are just terrifying to me. I'm, I can't even look at them, but I did them, and I got through it. And then I didn't do it again until I went back out in uh, the middle of February, late February, and I started again. And then this is what you have, the top ranked writer and photojournalist in San Diego Behance is Sharon Fit and Fun Photo. And I am so proud of that, so proud of that. And all it is is pictures of my shapes and colors, that's it got nothing else. Down at the bottom you see those two are the My Color Project Red and My Color Project Multi that I'm doing for Facebook and if you're interested in photography you can go look at that further. I'm proud of it. I'm excited to do it and it's helping me develop as a photographer which I need <laughs> like literally. I think I'm okay now. I don't hate myself but I'm still sometimes worried about what I post. As long as it gets the message to you, I'm still doing it. Like, I need you to get over your excuses and lose your weight and be healthy like me because I don't want anyone to go through the misery I went through when I was 275 pounds. I could never, not even dream of this. Not begin to dream of this. So be sure to fit in fun no matter what you're doing.